What is up everyone? This is Review It. I'm James. And I'm Kelly. And today we are reviewing The Legend of Hercules <laughs> in 3D. This is the new movie from Rennie Harlan, the director of Die Hard 2 and crap. Uh, he hasn't really done anything and this shows that he's not making a comeback anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, it's supposed to be a take on the mythology of Hercules, and uh, yeah, it's, it's... It's not right. It's definitely not right. No. And as far as mythology goes. And it's a January movie, so what to expect, really. Alright, so, do you want to go first or me? I will go first, because I know you're going to completely freak out on our rant, so I will go first. Okay, so, James has a much stronger opinion about this movie than I do. There you go. <laughs> and basically I didn't have um, I actually liked it a little bit now I will say it does not follow mythology at all it's pretty much trying to embrace what everybody likes in the movie which is a guy who falls in love with a girl tries to fight for and tries to fight for his village and his people I like that story so one of my pluses is the story that's just something that I like in a movie and I like in a story okay so I like the story. I think the story was very interesting. It kept me drawn in pretty much through the entire movie. Um, the acting was okay. The acting was something I'm going to give kind of a I'm not sure on because I love Keelan Lutz. I know not everybody likes him, but I do like him as an actor. I think for the part he worked out pretty good, um, but there was some corny parts in the acting, so there are some problems with the acting. Something I really did not like, I thought I was going to like it to begin with, but I didn't, was the graphics. The graphics were just corny. You have animals that just completely look fake, and it was, I mean, it was very weird. And there was a lot of slow motion that made the movie really weird, and I did not like that. So overall, that the graphics of the movie just made it very, very, very corny. However, did not hate it, did not love it. It's kind of one of those... I'm on the fence about because I'm just not completely sure about it. So I'm going to invite James back over. He can give you his probably five minute opinion on how bad it was. Alright, I'm going to be straight up. I hate this movie. I can't stand it. So you're going to hear me rant about it for the next few minutes. First off, the good things. Nothing. The bad things. The acting. The story. The graphics. The 3D. I mean, by the end of this movie, I had a headache. I almost fell asleep two or three times through this movie. It's horrible. It's so bad. It's so bad. There are times where the editing is really weird where you'll, you know, you'll see one character like and it'll just straight up go to where they're in the next scene and they're just having a friendly, nice conversation. This is a bad movie and it's, it's, it's horrible. It is worse than Paranormal Activity. It's probably this year's Texas Chainsaw. Not as bad as movie 43, but it is a horrible movie. It's just, this is a horrible movie, and I, I mean, I really cannot stand this movie. I hate it. I think it is probably one of the worst movies I've seen, and it's going to be really easy to do my, to, to do the, the worst movies of the year in December. This is bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's really bad. Everything is horrible. Uh, the acting is wooden. In the end, this is, this is a bad movie, and I mean, it, there's no point in going to see it. You are wasting money if you pay for it. I feel offended because I paid, what, 12, 12 75 for this to see in 3D because that was the only showtime. And not only that, but I was mad before going to see this because we were supposed to see The Lone Survivor today. And we were really excited about that. But when we got to the theater, we found out it was sold out. So Hercules was the only option for us to see. And boy, was it something. This is... I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not even going to write about it because there's nothing good about this movie. Pretty much the only thing I could write is minus everything, but I feel like that would be a waste of my time. Because, honestly, I don't want to talk about this movie anymore after this video. Once this video is done, I'm done with this movie. I don't want to talk about it ever again unless it's me making fun of it or talking horrible about it because then that's fun because that's all that this movie deserves. Rennie Harlan, you need to stop making movies. You are not doing anything good. Even Die Hard 2 wasn't that great. I wasn't a big fan of it at all and I love the Die Hard franchise. Die Hard 2 is probably my least favorite because you know there wasn't a fifth one. There wasn't a fifth one. It doesn't exist. Rennie Harlan, you need to stop. You are, you are not doing anything good anymore. Your time's done. You need to retire, do something else. So, if you haven't figured it out already, you probably already know what my score is going to be, but I can't tell you right now. I'm going to wait a second. So, 
I'm going to invite Kelly back in and she'll give our final score. Okay, so his rant is now over. You can tell he hates this movie. So, get, let him take a breath for a second. I will give my scoring first. My scoring is not going to probably be as bad as his. I would say don't go see this in theaters. It's not worth the money to see it in theaters. I would not buy it. I don't think it's worth the money to buy it. I probably won't ever watch it again, even though I wasn't just completely appalled by it. Um, I would say if you just feel like you need to watch the movie, at least get it out of the discount bin. Don't, don't spend a whole lot of money on it. Go to Redbox maybe and spend a dollar on it. You know, just don't put a whole lot of money into it because you probably will not watch it again. All right, if you haven't figured it out by now, you pretty much know what it's going to be. So, let me tell you what this movie is, okay? It is 3D crap. It's this. This is, this is what you're paying for. You're paying for a pair of 3D glasses and an hour and a half of wasted time. This is a horrible movie, and you know what? I think I'm going to get rented. Uh, no, no. Are you kidding me? Avoid it. Like a play. You don't have to see this. Stay away from it. It is horrible. It is terrible. It shouldn't have been made. There you have it. <sighs> okay, I feel better now. <laughs> All right, well, that was our review. This is Review It. I'm Kelly. I'm James. See you later.